before we even get started, I just want to mention that this wasn't given to me. Um, I obviously, I don't know, they, they didn't, nobody ever contacts me for free stuff. I guess I don't have enough viewers. But anyways, I'm happy for the ones that I have. You're great. So I ended up taking a leap and going with the Next Level Racing Sim Pit. It's the fully black version. It comes with some, I guess they're blue seat belts and for some reason they painted the brackets that go on each side as you can see over there you can see a little bit of it they paint it up it comes blue i would have preferred it black but it's just paint doesn't affect performance but i gotta say getting this what a lifesaver it's comfortable i was almost going to get the f-18 military version one but I like the sheep skin, or they call it sheep fur. It's artificial, obviously. So no sheep were killed, people. It's artificial fur. I figured it would be more comfortable, and it is. The only thing that I did find with it is it carries more friction. So I'm usually careful before I get in, and I get off to be able to. I grab the leg, the metal leg, over on the desk or something, and get myself grounded out. This time of the year, a lot of static, but we're not going to get into electricity stuff. So, as I was saying, what a lifesaver. The cable management, night and day. Before, I had wires all over the place coming off of each side. Not sure how I feel about it, but to get the back rest to go up and down, you have to grab a lever on both sides. Now, I've seen a lot of times where it's only one side, so I'm not sure why they made two levers. So you, if you grab one lever, it's not going to work. You have to put both hands down, pull them up, and move it front and forth. I, I think it would have been easier with one, but I'm not going to I'm not gonna complain about that. I, it just a thought of mine. I think I would have probably, it would have been easier for anybody with one lever, but they might have a good reason for it. As far as how it can slide forward and back, wow, this really gets right up there. Gets really too far up there. Yeah, you got to be careful when you, when you push it all the way up. Take your time with it because it goes pretty far up and you don't want to hurt yourself. I didn't end up using on this side down here, there's another bracket with a, a mount that attaches to there and it has a connector that goes on it. So you can either put the joystick and a mouse pad down on the lower part and it has a bracket that puts the keyboard and stuff like up top higher but I didn't end up using that because I wanted it to be easier to get in and out of and I virtually almost always fly the F-18. I prefer it in the center. Now for the future if I ever decide to go with the F-16 setup and the pressure sensitive setup I'll just I'll pick up another base and I'll set it up like that and I, I do have an F-16 stick on the way, and I'll just fly it in the center for now. It's, it's good enough for me. So yeah, so I ended up, th this next level piece right here, had this for a while, and it was connected up kind of a different way to the other setup that I had, and I found by straightening out the displays, the MFDs, the HUD in the center, they were kind of like folded because there's, you can really, there's a lot of adjustments you can make with this. They're very adjustable. So to get it more like a regular dash, I guess you would call it, it's not a dashboard like in a car, but similar, you know, it's right in front of you. I was able to get these all leveled out and up and down, straight up and down. It, it's much more comfortable and easier to be able to mess around with the buttons and, you know, program things in. As far as the wind wing base with the F-18 grip goes, there's just... You know, I'm not going to knock Verpal. I really do like the Verpal stuff. But my biggest problem with it is Verpal just doesn't make their own F-18 grip or their F-16 grip. They know Thrustmaster makes it. And that's probably why they don't bother. I think they would probably make more of a profit. It would be a better business move to make their own. It would probably be of a better quality because the problem I was having with the F-18 Thrustmaster grip in the F-16 is in the center, there's a shaft that runs, the coupling that goes on over here on the, on the Thrustmaster screws down. On the wind wing, it screws up. 
but you got an Allen key there. You can tighten up and it stays right in place. And the width of this just makes it so strong. It's just not moving anywhere. It, it's, and that was the Thrustmaster problem that I was having. It kept loosening up, like the coupling itself, I had a, it got to the point where I don't know if anybody else had this problem, but it would loosen, I'd have to tighten it up, and it doesn't have an Allen key that you can tighten down. So after a little while, it would loosen up again, and I, it got to the point where I had to use plumber's tape to get it to stay in place. Then I started to notice a little jiggle on both of them. I thought it was just the F-18 grip, but it turns out that the way it screws on the inside, if you open up the Thrustmaster, there's a couple little bolts that hold the shaft in, a couple little screws, and they're very small. And it starts to loosen up a little bit, so you gotta retighten it. And I tried looking at some way that maybe I could modify it to get it to stay in place, but it just wasn't worth it. It, it would have been way too, too much work. So, long story short, I ended up putting the bracket for the mount over on the, the throttle. I put it where they originally said in the directions to put it, but I found it even with the seat all the way up for me, I don't have like really, really long arms. So when I would have to reach forward to use the buttons or anything, it, it was just, oh, push the throttle all the way into afterburn. It was just so far, it, it was just too much for me. So I ended up taking it and moving it a couple bolts back and beauty of this thing, it's got adjustments everywhere. It, it's, it's, it, it's awesome. I moved it back a couple, tightened them down, bam, right into place. So, like I said, man, next level. They, they really thought this through. I'm really taking a long shot here, but, you know, a swivel seat would have been nice. <laughs> I think that's taking it a little bit too far. It would have been pretty cool, though. 62 years old, I'm no spring chicken. And it, it gets a little difficult to be jumping in and out with the mount on this side. So, having using the F-18... I just found it so much easier to take it off. Fortunate enough, I had this, so I was able to connect it to my cross bracket in there that holds the MFDs and the, all that stuff on there. It attached right up, moves, swivels, works out perfect for me. I really do like it. It doesn't get in the way of anything. Stays nice and level. The PTO, instead of putting it on a mount the way I had it before, I used one of the one of the brackets that came with the MFDs because I had spare the way because of the cross mount that I use and attached it to the back of the PTO. And I was able to mount it directly to the desk. So now it's just so much firmer, so much more steady than the way it was when I had it rigged up on the, the side bracket. It wasn't bad. But this is actually up and down more the way it should be. Okay, so we're back. I ended up pulling my mic right off. So I was speaking about the PTO2, and it, it's just it's much easier to use the way it's set up over there. As far as for a mic, I, I've been debating on whether or not I'm going to change that. Right now I'm using a really nice mic. It's, it's a Shure microphone with the, the Wave XLR from Elgato. And it's not bad, but... For what I'm doing here, it might be just easier to go with a regular USB type thing and just something smaller and easier to mount. What I do like about this mic setup is it's just so, so, like, I can do a lot more with this as far as being able to do editing and stuff like that. These, these mics, uh, the sound quality that they give is just incredible. So with the 43-inch TV, I've got... My Track IR5 Pro up there. I have one light over here if I really need to use it. Down the bottom, pretty much the only Thrustmaster thing that I have. The um, pendulum pedals. And I'm just really happy with the way it came out. I highly recommend, if this is something that you're interested in getting, get it. And I hope um, maybe Next Level sees me, you know, talking good about this stuff and they hook me up someday in the future. That would be great. Maybe I got to get another 20,000 viewers or so. So that's going to pretty much about wrap it up. I'll probably do a little bit of a game, record it, 
see how things look, see how everything feels. Yeah, I haven't been on in a little bit because I've been busy with this, and plus I've been working a whole bunch of overtime, which I'm done with. It's just been really busy over at the place, and it's going to be slowing down probably for about a month, and then oh, back at it again. I know at my age I should be retired, but if you want to have fun and buy toys, unless you're a millionaire or very rich, you don't get that ch uh, you, you don't get that chance to retire. If you want to have it, you got to work. So yeah, here's a good full look at everything. Very happy with how it came out. I know the other part of the room is still a little messy, so don't judge, please. <laughs> yeah, really like it. So I don't want to. I don't want to make this too long. Just wanted to give you a rundown on where I went with my upgrades, how this affected getting this set up, how it affected the quality of my gaming, which was a huge, huge plus. And yeah, I got to say it's thumbs up, man. I, I really, now it's to the point where when I sit down in this, I, I spend more time actually gaming than I did before because it's just so much more convenient so much easier to be able to sit in there. It's so much more steady. The quality of it is just incredible. I, I got to say the next level race and they make a awesome product. So on that note, people, I'm going to sign out. I'm going to hope this video comes out halfway decent because I'm really not great at just talking about multiple things at one time. Usually it's like one specific thing I can concentrate on and I can get into good detail with it. But just wanted to give a little update on, you know, where I've been, what I've been doing, and what I've accomplished. And I got to say, I am not let down by any of this whatsoever. So everybody, hope you have a great day. If you're new to the channel, and I, I always do this at the end, I, I could never make sense of why people will say before they even start their video, if you like my video, sub and subscribe. Listen, I want to watch the video before I make up my mind whether I'm going to sub and give you a like. So for me, I always put it at the end. So if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful anyway, if you just liked watching it and looking at stuff, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, give me a sub. It's a really big help. Maybe you get me up there in numbers so I can get something free and maybe do a good giveaway. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Anyways, everybody, you stay safe and just have, you know, just enjoy yourself. Have a great day. Everybody, peace out.